What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy, The Surgical Guru, and I'm here with my first video, and this is the introduction to surgical technology. I've been a surgical technologist for seven years now, and I wanted to create this channel just to be able to share my experiences and to help anybody that's, one, interested in becoming a surgical technologist, two, you are a surgical technologist and you're just looking for a little bit more information or some knowledge that can help you on your journey, and three, medical students who are also starting their journey on their way to becoming doctors and need a little bit of tips or you know tutorials or some help with instrumentation or how to scrub. Um, we're gonna be making videos on this channel about all those things. So um, what is surgical technology? Surgical technology or a surgical technologist is basically the right hand man to a doctor. Um, we are their assistant. So we are in charge of sterility and the sterile field and the instrumentation, the supplies and the equipment. So throughout the case, um, our job is to anticipate the needs of the surgeon before they even ask for it so that they don't even really have to ask for it. Um, what to expect. When you get in the room, um, you work basically side by side with your registered nurse or your operating room nurse and you set up the sterile field on your back table. Um, this right here is a Mayo stand. And this is a ring stand. And these are just some side tables. This over here is usually where your registered nurse sits and does the charting. And this is an OR bed or an OR table. So we come into the room. Usually we have these big packs that is set on top of the table. And depending on the type of surgery you're doing, as a surgical technologist, you're gonna study a lot of different types of surgery. So you're gonna study general surgery, gynecology, urology, orthopedics, vascular, um, you know, everything. And when you come into the room, usually you have a pack, depending on what type of surgery you're doing. So let's say we're doing laparoscopic surgery. So you might have a laparoscopic pack. So you put it on the table, you open it up, sterilely, with sterile technique. Um, that's how you do everything in the operating room. And you open it up with your nurse. We'll have a, uh, another video that shows you a little bit more in depth. This is more of just an introduction. You open it up and you have supplies. So this, for example, is an abdominal pad. This is in a sterile package. So everything that comes in a sterile package when you open it onto the field, I'm not actually going to open this, but I'm just going to show you an example. You basically hold it in a certain way where you open it and you drop it onto the field sterilely without contaminating. Um, you have to keep a certain distance from the table and not get too close. Otherwise, like particles from your hand or your shirt will contaminate the back table and you got to start all over. So. Um, the purpose of sterile technique is to not get an infection and to not send anybody home with anything. Um, we're here to help people and not send them home sicker. So uh, basically after you set up your sterile field, you pull in your table like such. The doctor usually is on the other side and your mayo stand comes with you, like such. This has all of your supplies, equipment, and uh, instrumentation, but the things that you are using um, more frequently, uh, you put on top of your mayo stand. So you have everything here, and you basically pass everything off to the doctor, and the things that you don't need anymore, you put back here. Um, another big important part of our job as surgical technologists is counting. Um, we have to make sure we don't send anybody home with anything inside of them. No retained objects is what it's called. So throughout the case, in the beginning, you have your initial count, then you have your closing count at the end of the procedure. Usually there's about two closing counts. And you just count your sponges, your sharps, everything that could potentially be left over, you, you count. So. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Really, I mean, that's about it, you know, for anybody that might be interested in surgical technology. And, you know, like I said, for the people that 
our ready surgical technologists that are looking for more information or some tips on how to do different surgeries. That's what this channel is here for. It's your boy, the Surgical Guru, and it's the intro to surgical tech. Peace.